So who's this Crimea really? Over 2,500 years ago, Crimea was inhabited by Scythians and Greeks, partially owned by the Roman and Byzantine empires, by the Khazars and Pechenegs, and traders from Genia, Christopher Columbus's compatriot. Crimea has always been multinational and closely connected with the mainland. The Crimean Kenate was there for more than 300 years. It was created by Crimean Tatars or Kirimia. Ukrainian Cossacks fought against them, but then made alliances. At the end of the 18th century, Russia conquered Crimea, turned it into a naval base, and began the genocide of the locals. Despite that, at the beginning of the 20th century, Crimean Tatars still were the largest ethnic group here, until they were deported by Stalin. Many died along the way. Hundreds of toponyms were replaced with Russian ones. Crimea was always economically connected to Ukraine, thus in 1954 the peninsula transferred to Ukraine. When the USSR collapsed, everyone, including Putin, recognized Crimea as Ukrainian. So the occupation of Crimea in 2014 actually meant the beginning of Russian invasion of Ukraine. But it's time to remind them where the Ukrainian borders are.